Hi guys, welcome back, it's Gina. I wanted to show you how you can make your own um, embellishments using polymer clay and some amazing mold putty that I have. I'm also going to show you how you can use your stamps to make your own embellishments out of polymer clay. So all you do, you take out some, you have to condition your, cl your clay before you use it. This is just regular old Sculpty 3, what I like to use. I also like to use Fimo, but that is a little bit harder on my hands. I like this a lot better, so I won't, won't have to, if I'm not using the um, pasta machine. So all you do, really, to make your own molds out of polymer clay, is condition your clay. And if it, if you fold it over and has these cracks like this, all the way across, that means it's not conditioned enough. It's not, um, it's not warm enough to do what you want it to do. Okay, at first I, I had done this um, heart, and it says made with love. And actually, where is it? Here it is. It looked like this first. Made my own mold. Hopefully you can see it. And this is my last one. And I want to make more. So when I do make stuff for like Christmas and stuff, I want to be able to make it. So all you do really is use a little bit of cornstarch. Just You don't need that much inside of all your molds. So your things won't stick. So all I do is place a little cornstarch right in. I hate the way cornstarch feels. Ugh. <laughs> Put it right in and then make sure your clay is still nice and warm and you put it in the negative space. So I made this putting it on top of just squishing it down and then I baked it. Now I want to make another one. You can make three, four, five, however many you want to make. And since I have a lot of excess clay, I'm just going to take it right off. Make sure you push it down in that middle so you can get that image. And take it off nice and slow. Don't like just rip it off because then you'll have made with love, but no VE. It might be squished. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you can see that. It says, made with love, and then the heart is right there. But Gina, you have like all this other polymer clay around it. That's not a big deal. What you can do is grab your knife or grab a, um, a smaller one and just go around the whole entire thing. Not a big deal at all. I'm not going to do the whole thing for video's sake. I'm just going to show you what I do. Okay, you can even poke a hole right there so you can put it on string. And once you um, paint it, you, you'll be able to see Made With Love. Okay. So that's how you make your molds out of 90% of your embellishments. That's one of the embellishments that I like. But how many people have stuff like this? And they're really expensive. And you just want a whole bunch for your albums. And I can't afford for every album. I wish I could, but I can't. I just make a mold for it. And then I use the polymer clay and I paint it any color I want. So I'll just go... Wait, I forgot the cornstarch, didn't I? Something three-dimensional like this, like you have to get this part too, I would suggest doing it in a second, second um, mold. So I would just put this right over the top. Make sure you get all the pieces, all the crevices. And 
and then pull up nice and slow. Okay. I hope you can see that. You get the gist. I mean, I, could, I should have done the whole thing, but you guys hopefully get the gist on what I'm trying to achieve here. And then when it's baked, you bake this whole thing. You um, get your positive piece and put it into your negative piece in order to make your ornament. Pretty easy. Not too, too hard. I mean, I've even done stuff like this. But what's really cool, what I've done before, and, you know, I, I love these kind of things, but this, these cost like 6 $7 sometimes, these little molds. And they're really good, but they this is how they do it. Okay, this is my beautiful children, my, my gorgeous little children. And I've always loved this frame. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to recreate part of the flowers for a project I want to do. So all I do, put the cornstarch right on. It won't hurt it. Spread your thing out. It should actually be thicker, but that's okay. I'm doing a tutorial here. <laughs> and you place it right on top. And you make sure you get into all the grooves. Right on down. If you spread that cornstarch, it won't stick to it. See, now you just peel it off. I highly recommend you go slowly at this point because you don't want to ruin anything that you've just done. So there you go. This is my children's picture, all the flowers on the side. Isn't that neat? You could even cut off the excess too. So I don't want this part right here. That's it. And that's how you store it. Okay, let's um, let's do a stamp with polymer clay. All I'm doing is conditioning my um, even if it's just sit there a couple minutes. I like to condition it a little bit more, make sure it's nice and warm in my hands before I do anything else. So what I have here is three butterflies, a squirrel, and you know some feathers and a bird. I think I'm gonna do the butterflies because everybody likes butterflies I know I do I love them so all I do I get I spread it out so it could be enough room for the butterfly and then enough thickness so you can have an actual mold like this is probably too thin maybe a little bit thicker like that but again I'm just doing a tutorial for you guys you could either put the cornstarch right on your polymer clay and if you notice I'm not trying to make it all nice and neat I'm just putting it right on I know I shouldn't be saying this but one time, <laughs> I mean, this is like 10 years ago. One time I was, um, after, um, I had, I don't know why, but I had polymer clay. And I was conditioning it in my hand. And I said, oh, I like that. <laughs> and I went up to it and I made a mold out of it <laughs> in a store. Oh man, it was so funny. My friends thought I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all you do is press the stamp right in you can use your um, 
your Misty. You could use your Fiskars stamp down. I like to use my fingers. Sometimes I squish it too much and it looks like a lopsided butterfly, <laughs> but that's it. That's all you do. And then I'm going to, it comes out really quick. I'm going to cut it so it could be nice and uniform. Again, if it's stuck to anything, be very careful at this point. You don't want to ruin your project. And that's it. You made a negative for your um, butterfly. Pretty cool, huh? Then you put your positive, once this is cooked, put your positive right in and you'll make this. Okay? So it's a different way to use your stamps and a different way to use um, polymer clay and all that other stuff. I do have these molds and they're actually really cool. Um, mold putty. This is A and B and you get equal amount of parts, put them together and you can make exactly what I just did right here. But this is self-hardening. This you have to bake. And with all polymer clay, all clays, you never know the outcome. You don't know if it'll burn. You don't know if it's going to um, curl up. You don't, you know, etc. You have to realize that as well. But with this stuff, it's self-hardening. You get what you do to it. So I would highly recommend these for, um, you know, probably really detailed stuff bigger things or um, even those small tiny um, made with love you know it, something that has writing and you really want to see it okay I hope this tutorial was good for you guys everything I hope you liked it you learned something maybe <laughs> and um, that's it thanks I'll see you guys next time Bye.